December 5th, 1987, I made 111 peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and I sat all by myself in the kitchen, the church of the kitchen, saying, Ray, you have really lost your mind. If anybody knew that you were here doing this, they'd say you're crazy. And at um, 8 o'clock, I had called up two friends of mine, one Danny, and I went downtown, went to Fifth and Crocker. I got out of my van, out of my truck, which I still have, and I walked across the street and I told the, the people on the street, and now they were sprawled out, it was cold, it was drizzly. <laughs> I remember saying, God, you couldn't give me a sunny day, it had to be a rainy day. Anyway, they came over to the car, to the truck, and in one minute, maybe three, 111 peanut butter and jelly sandwiches were gone. And at that moment, at that precise moment, I knew something had happened. Very, very profound. Because it was almost like the world had, 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 had changed for me from that moment on. The hands that reach for those sandwiches, the, the communion of, of, of what was going on here, 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 and gone in a minute. The, the, the pain and, and agony, the understanding, the compassion, and all this stuff was transmitted in a matter of of two or three minutes, and, and, and I took a step back, and I said, oh, oh. And what had happened was I touched, I touched the soul of mankind. For the first time in my life, I literally touched the soul of mankind. And, and, and that was over 15 years ago. I never stopped going downtown. And I still relive that moment. That's how profound it was. And a true miracle happened. 737,000 meals have been served on those same streets. And then in the course of that time, I realized that the food was but a vehicle. That peanut butter and jelly sandwich that I first handed out to those broken souls was the touch, was the touch of what I was to give for the next 15 years. That's what I love about it. Conscious. That conscious is open. Please show him the same kindness and loving that he showed me. I'm guided, okay? And I'm guided by a source. For sake of argument, God. He didn't say it like Marlon Brando, but you know, who knows? Maybe he is Marlon Brando. I don't know. I want you to feed the people. And that's all I had to worry about, was feeding the people. And what you're gonna feed them, Ray, you're gonna feed them purity of mind, body, and soul. You're gonna feed them understanding. You're gonna feed them compassion. You're going to feed them unselfishness. You're going to feed them honesty. And that's all I've been doing. <laughs>